Hi guys, Paul Ruffy here from Match Day Profits again. Another quick weekly recap of my bets, uh, which we gave out over the last week. Uh, so just to advise anyone new to watching, Match Day Profits is my service where I share all of my uh, advantage play bets for the week. So it's match betting um, without without much laying. So we do risk um, our stakes, but we're betting with with an edge or with the bookmaker's money. So I do accumulators, we do bet and get offers, refund offers, and enhanced odds um, offers. Um, over the last week, so uh, that was from the 1st of April to the 7th, um, had a couple of accumulators. Uh, once again, the Ladbrokes ones were absolutely no good this week, so I won't, won't um, spend much time on them. We literally got, started off on Tuesday, and then the other one for the weekend, I think we got two right on the first one and one out of five which is like the worst worst I've done on those in a while um, just one of those things um, it is a long term betting strategy and we, we're well ahead and uh, over the course of the season on those um, so yeah no luck on those uh, no luck on the darts boost either this week again we had a 7-2 to two enhanced to 7-1 to one on the Thursday which I thought was a really good bet actually um, Luke Humphreys to get the most 180s at 7-1 to one for like the best player uh, this season in the Premier League was, was was pretty good but yeah that he he had a nightmare evening that didn't come in um, yeah bet and get on the golf um, we do these at big odds um, we've only got to land one of these really um, and you know every couple of years and they'll, they'll be worthwhile but uh, yeah no winners this week <clears throat> um, perhaps the um, closest we come to a big winner was with the bet MGM um, I'll come back to that in a second because I just want to show you um, the overall performance for the week. So we're going to the, uh, the profit tracker, and where are we? Uh, I've got to go right the way down to to April, haven't we? So yeah, we had where was it? Twenty eighth to the twenty eighth to the seventh. So we had about where do we have? I don't know, minimum. I want just a count. How do I get a count? Let's count in 24 bets. Um, over the course of the week, we're fairly busy. We had a few accumulators. As you can see, we didn't actually hit any, any really big winners this week. Um, a couple of the odds boosts come in, and um, a couple didn't. Um, I did find one decent winner with the, uh, with, with, was able to take advantage of a refund offer on the weekend racing with Betfair Exchange. So £138. Uh, on that um, that made up for the losers um, that we did suffer that week and um, yeah overall what did we do we done on oh, my spreadsheet we made a small profit on the week of 14 pound but didn't so that's yes yeah, better than losing but um, that really told a full story we we had we, had, we hit the bar a number of times is one of them one of them um, Weeks again, we've had a few of this season where we where we got six out of seven on the um, on the bet MGM acker. Um, just to show you that, um, I've not got it up on here. Uh, where is it? Let's see if we can just go. There. Oh, the other one we did have was this one with um, it was only a one pound bet with Betfair Sportsbook, and we had Arsenal to win to nil, uh, West Ham to beat Wolves. Tottenham to win and both teams to score which all three of those came in and Liverpool and over 2.5 and um, yeah, I thought they was unlucky not to not to be beating Man United they kind of shot themselves in the foot didn't they in that game um, so that was a draw and that let that one down that would have been another £32 um, just from a £1 free bet so you know if you if you if you can find some a few like these over the season you're doing well unfortunately we just missed out on that one the other one, which was very close to securing a nice profit, was the Bet MGM sevenfold. Just trying to find it. Um, yeah, so this one we had six out of seven, um, and the one that let us down was Harrogate, um, which I thought was a really solid pick of two goal head start. Um, have I got the uh, statistics on that up somewhere? I don't know. Um, what was that League Two standings? That game, 
yeah I mean so they were one nil down uh, two nil down sorry um, sorry one nil down when they when they missed a penalty um, <clears throat> and they went two nil down and uh, a goal in the last minute when they're probably chasing the games three nil I mean so this is one of them games statistics they've it they've got two point seven six xg they've had nine shots on goal they've had some more shots on goal higher xg than Notts County they've managed to use three nil so um that's that and that's the result that's cost us about what was it cost us that was eleven to one we got on that that was about fifty five pound six well fifty seven pound profit nearly we we missed out on thanks to that result but that's just how it goes um over the course of the season we hope those sort of things will even themselves out but um yeah once again we've we're we we're, 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 we're slightly up on the week could have been a lot better could have been um a little bit of luck could have been um yeah sort of nearer to £100 profit on the week but yeah we go on um, there are f fine margins like this which do decide um, on, on a short term basis whether you're sort of having a losing or winning run um, but long term with betting you've just got to stick with what you believe in and what, what, what you know uh, works if you've, if you've got an edge which we have um, because you know over the long term your bank is going to carry on growing so you've, you've just got to stick with it and um yeah, crack on. So we've got a busy week this week, got Champions League and uh, a lot going on at the weekend as well. So we're going to crack on now because I'm a little bit behind and um, I'll uh, speak to you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.